A new documentary has revealed some of the frostiest relationships between the royal in-laws as well as the unlikely friendships. The new Channel 5 series, Paxman on the Queen's Children, sees journalist Jeremy explore the lives of Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward across two episodes. However, the broadcaster also looked into the lives of those they married including, of course, the late Princess Diana. And while the People's Princess hands-on approach appeared to be a hit with the public, it seemed to rub her in-laws up the wrong way, in particular Princess Anne. Speaking to Paxman on the program, the Daily Mail's own Richard K. claims the pair did not get along. He said, I remember Diana saying if Anne's there I'm off because Anne would usually say something rather cutting to her. Paxman explains in the program how Anne was eclipsed by Diana who made her appear out of touch. She described the AIDS pandemic as an own goal while her sister-in-law spent time visiting patients, shaking their hands and reducing the stigma. Kay continues, Princess Anne, she had no time for Diana she didn't like the way she went about her duty and the way she used the cameras and the media to promote herself in her eyes. Anne had a much more traditional approach to monarchy and royal duty. Mail Online has contacted Buckingham Palace for a comment. However, while Diana was reportedly far from friends with Anne, she was getting along famously with another of her in-laws. Kay explains, Diana had a much warmer relationship with Prince Andrew who she had known well since she was a child. They had played together as children on the Sandringham estate. Paxman goes on to explain that while Andrew served in the Falklands it had been Diana who had written to him to update him on family news. The documentary claims that she was not to close. However, to Edward who formed a strong bond with Andrew's wife Sarah Ferguson. Speaking of Edward, of whom she had previously interviewed royal biographer Ingrid Seward said, he actually used to sometimes have lunch with Fergie who would drive from the palace and meet him here and take him out to lunch because they were very close at one time. They were very close at one time. He liked her and she liked him and she was young and fun and she was interested in what he did. The claims are made in the groundbreaking documentary which airs on Channel 5 tomorrow night which explores how the Queen's children changed the face of the royal family. Certain insiders believe that the monarchy should embrace the new medium of television, and Paxman learns that the Queen's children were to be the stars with cameras following their every milestone.